guys. Um, I did a unboxing video of these pads um, back, I don't know, a couple months ago now uh, when I received them. These are the postpartum pads that I got from Creations by Five. Um, I ordered them from the uh, Facebook group, which I will link below, and um, they were a really great deal. I think I got them each for like $4, but she does regular kinds of sales every so often. She'll open up for orders, and I think recently she did one, they were all $5, and you can just pick um, the size and the topper, and then she picks the color, and they're really great quality pads, and so uh, I asked in that last video. Uh, if anyone was interested in like a review after I got to use them uh, and a couple people said yes so I'm going to subject you to that if you're not interested in discussing um, bodily functions of women then this is not your video and I will see you in the next one bye okay uh, for the rest of you <laughs> there's not really even that much to say they worked great um, I got I'm trying to remember I believe these are 11 inches um, and they're all minky topped. I had never had a minky topped pad before because I was always told, oh, they're so hot, they're miserable, and I'm like, I live in this warm climate. Um, and so I just use cotton and um, flannel when I make them for myself. But I thought that with the postpartum stuff, especially since at that time when I ordered them, I was still planning on a vaginal birth and thinking that things would need to be extra gentle down there. I thought having the soft um, minky topper would be a really good way to sort of I don't know, pamper myself or just keep things comfortable. And it really worked well, even though it got super hot. Like when I started wearing these is when we got home from the hospital. I didn't wear them in the hospital, I just went with what they had there because they were helping me with it and it was just as easy to have them do it for me. Um, but then we got home and it was like a heat wave of a hundred and man, I think it got almost to 110 that first weekend we were home. Um, and so I thought, you know, originally that that was the risk I was taking that Minky would be comfortable but really hot. Fortunately it wasn't like maybe it was but I didn't notice. Um, I had other things going on and I found them very comfortable. Um, I didn't find them to be bulky or anything. I wasn't I guess again paying that much attention to my underwear. I was mostly just paying attention to like my c-section scar and the baby and um, you know just stuff going around visitors and all of that. But um, yeah, they worked really well. They were way more absorbent than I really needed, I think. Um, again, maybe because of the C-section, but really the the major bleeding happened when I was in the hospital. Clots and stuff happened when I was in the hospital, and by the time I got home it was just blood. There's no clots or anything like that. Um, and so I used these for a good month or so pretty regularly. Um, you can look at that previous video to see what they looked like then, but I'll show you you know, what they look like now. You really can't see any staining or anything. I just washed these um, in with the diaper laundry. Uh, so they got a pre-soak in cold water and then a wash in hot or warm water. We kind of alternated a bit with just Tide. Nothing fancy. And uh, they were, yeah, they worked really well. The back, the fleece on the back did pill um, and then we've got like white fuzzies from, they might be technically light pink fuzzies from the uh, the washcloths in there, or I'm not sure, but uh, you know, that's that's the thing that happens is, fl is fleece pills, but it doesn't really affect anything, and the top looks perfect, so. Yeah, uh, like I said, I wore them for about a month, and then decided that the bleeding was getting light enough that I could switch to just liners. Um, and so I'm just using the liners that I have in my stash that I already made. Um, and those, you know, are fine. It's just a little bit of spotting. And um, that's pretty much it. They are, yeah, I think they're a really great deal for $4 each. So I will definitely, like I said, I'll link below the Facebook group. Um, and then you can find these. They're Creations by Five. Um, I'm trying to remember now her name. Is something Carruthers. Look up Carruthers and you'll find her, and then you can find where she posts. Um, keep an eye out for when she's doing a sale, and you can pick up some of these for yourself. And of course, you don't have to get the super duper ones. You can get anything, like in a whole range, uh, and she also does cotton toppers. So that is everything for today. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, uh, and I will see you in the next video if you subscribe. So don't forget, uh, have a good day. Bye.